Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And I was just playing lately a little bit with the modifiers and all of the good stuff in Cinema 4D 2024.4 particles. And obviously you can see that I had quite some fun there. I developed this beautiful technique which uses the flow field and some surface attraction and some flocking and some turbulence and some friction to create just this beautiful stunning effect. You can also see that I played with different shading methods of the particles, for example, but here you can see like a thin smoke shader but then here is different color mapping applied to my particles and overall yes it was just such a fun experience for the first one or two weeks playing with cinema 4d particles and i'm honestly excited to share this knowledge with you just be sure that if you want to learn about this animation technique here you should check out my patreon this is just where i share most of my knowledge but also here on youtube i just want to share some of the wisdom with you okay so so today I would say prepare yourself to get some shading knowledge so we can talk about this simple method with little bubbles on the surface or you can also call it spheres and I also want to share with you how you can use custom particles like here I use these little stones and maybe I could also quickly talk about this wispy smoke effect that I just found out like an hour ago how to create this one so this is also a powerful technique but just be sure that the full lesson of this knowledge is on my Patreon plus a lot of more knowledge okay also if you want to have like this perfume bottle this will be also shared on my Patreon and by the way when I talk about perfume bottles these assets of three different bottles you can also find these ones on my Patreon plus lighting knowledge about caustics and in general how to let your renderings look amazing and of course you can combine these perfume bottles with your amazing surface attraction animation and now I think we should just dive into Cinema 4D where I show you how you can let your particles just look amazing. Okay, so let's fire up Cinema 4D. So I just fired up one of my scenes and you can see that these particles, they just look amazing. All right, let me just jump to another frame here. Just to prove to you that this one is live, let's jump to another frame just to see how beautiful this is looking. And there you go. So this one is using pretty much the most simple technique to render particles. And I won't show you exactly how I did the surface attraction and all of that stuff. But I think we can at least talk about the particle rendering here. So on your particle group, you just need to put a Redshift render tag. And then when you have this one, just on sphere instances, or let's just see, optimized spheres would also be perfect actually so then your particles will be shown as spheres and you can apply a relative shader to it but of course you can also just change the scale multiplier to change the size of your particles so when I pump this one up to three then obviously your particles will get bigger okay so I think that you already guessed that this will happen but yes this is like a scale multiplier for the scale that you set in your particles so of course you will already give your particles for example like different radii so when you set this one to 0.6 with a variation of 0.3 then the smallest particles will be 0.3 and the biggest ones will be 0.3 nine so then you already get like a beautiful variation here and maybe i can also share with you how you can create this beautiful color mapping all right and therefore you will have like a color mapping effector that you apply to your simulation and for example you can map this to the velocity of your particles so that these particles will change color when they have different velocity and then just be sure to apply a relative material to your particle group that's what i'm doing here and when you will go into the shader and then you can see that you can apply a color user data so just search for user data and these user data nodes they can apply different data from your particle simulation and inside of this node you will just go into it and set this one to particle color apply the color for example to the subsurface color in your material or of course just to the base color you can also connect this one here to the base color to create like a simple diffuse shader let me just do that here and then you can see that the color is applied to your particles but of course you can also just pump this one through a color correct for example and then put it into the base color of your material to further adjust the color of your particles you could also just pump this one through a ramp so you can also do this one let me just see this one now the color data from the color user data will be remapped through the gradient here and you can see that now certain areas will get dark or will get white and of course you could also just go here to the presets and for example put this one into 
into your particles. And now this one will be mapped on your particles or you could also just invert this one for a quick change. And let me just, before I end this tutorial, switch this one to a rainbow just to see how beautiful this one will be. Let me invert this one more time. And there you go, you get some beautiful renderings here. Okay, maybe just a quick dip here. Of course, you can also set this one to custom objects. And then for example, just put a little stone or something like this into your particles. And then you will not get something like this one, but you will create renderings like these ones, for example. And then you just have to give them like funny names like Cosmic Lavender, Beach Party, Lipstick, Nobility, German Winter. I especially like this one or Hawaii Volcano. Okay, so I was getting pretty creative with these names. But yes, this is how you can render your particles in the most simple way with Redshift and the new Cinema 4D particles. All right, and this was like a really short breakdown of some of the shading knowledge that I share on my Patreon. So thank you so much for your time and I hope that you learned something today. Have a good time. Bye everyone.